Hey guys, Darko Cycle on FPV. I'm going to do a video here for you on how to replace an antenna, a broken antenna on an X9 Lite, Free Sky X9 Lite. So let me show you what that is right here. There we go. Here's the radio. Radio's been damaged, so we're going to go ahead and take care of that. And to do that, what we're going to do is the first thing we're going to do is just open the back plate and make sure you got the batteries removed. So just pull those out. There we go. Then once you do that, the next thing you're going to do is go ahead and remove the back plate. How you doing? We got customers coming to pick stuff up, so I thought I'd say, hey, what's up? All right, so um, here we go. I'm going to take this one as well. So you're going to take the four screws out in the back, and that's pretty much it because there's only a plug. There's a one, two wire plug, which basically connects the batteries to the board, and that's it. So once you take out these four screws, just carefully remove the back. And if they're hanging, just as you pull up, if there's any resistance left, just keep turning those screws because there you go, just like that. Now. Before you tip this over and throw the screws out, you'll notice that there is a black and red plug right here. That's for your batteries. Just take that out and lay that flat and those screws will stay right in place, okay? Now, what we're going to do here is, since this is broken, we're going to remove this piece of glue right here and just going to pop that off. It shouldn't really be stuck on there very well. I'm just going to pop off just like that. And we're going to take our soldering iron and you're going to have two spots here that you need to solder, okay? Or uh, that you're going to desolder, basically. So grab your tweezers. Uh, I'm going to grab, I can't find my good ones, but I'm going to grab these ones for now. And take a grip of the wire okay like this right here and heat up the larger pad first okay just like this so heat that up and pull that up there you go once that separates go ahead and just heat up the smaller pad just like that there you go okay once you've done that here's what we're going to do we're going to go ahead then now here's the tricky part this, this, let me show you one that I'm putting in. Okay, so the, no, that's one I'm replacing. Here's, here's a new one. You see how it's got this, it's got a lip here with this clip right here. So when it pops in, it's going to open. So to get this out, you have to squeeze that closed and it can be a pain. So be prepared to uh, break it. If it happens, it will, it will break. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to basically take one end and kind of push it in while you push up on the edge here. And there you go. See how, when you push it in this way, and you've got your other end of the pliers on this side, you'll end up pushing it in and then pushing it up at the same time. Once you get that to where the clip has already been removed a little bit, then you can just take your pliers and just work it out, and there you go. Okay, now the other option, you can just sit here and cuddle it and hack it up, and I've done that on the first one um, before, so it happens. All right, now we're gonna take our new antenna right here, and uh, we're going to uh, insert just like that. Okay, and we've got this little edge right here, and that basically is what stops it from turning 360 degrees. So once it goes in, it's going to hit this little lip that's in here, and this little piece here is going to stop it from rotating 360. So just fit it in there just like that, and then once you, now watch what happens. Listen. There you go. That snap means it's in place, and you're good to go. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to resolder it. And to do that, we're going to go backwards from how we desoldered it. So we're going to put the small end in first and solder that in first. Okay. I'm gonna add just a little bit of solder to mine because it's a little, looks a little plain. So let me just show you, just like that. And if I can, I'm gonna try to get the, let me see if I can get the magnifier on this so you guys can see it. So bear with me a second, let me see if I can do that for you. Okay, it's just to, to line this thing up properly and still be able to solder is gonna be tough. Oh, you know what, I gotta turn my computer on. I didn't even have the computer on, so it could take me just a second. But it's worth the wait so I can show you guys this stuff. So let me just do that real quickly. Computer's turning on right now, so. Give me one second, we'll knock that out for you. All right, and then all these extra antennas, um, I'm gonna actually try to make new housings for them so that they uh, can be used again. And then um, we'll give them back. This goes to a school, so we'll probably give these back as extras. The reason, the good thing about this video is the kids can watch it, the teacher can watch it, and they can do their own uh, replacement next time. All right, just waiting for my computer to turn on. Not sure what's going on here, but it would be nice. I think it's on, yeah, there it is, okay. So let me log in, bear with me one second. Okay, we're in, and I don't have my mouse for some reason, so let me just go ahead and launch the viewer for this so you can see it, and then let me launch the camera. All right, so give me one second, you guys. We will have this on uh, video for you, and then you'll be able to watch it, okay? Apologize for the delay. I was not thinking that we could do this, but it might actually work out pretty good. So let's see where we're at. Okay, camera's on. 
Yep. And what we want, and there we go. All right, guys, so you're going to see this here in just a second, and then I'll focus it so you can see what we're looking at, right? So here, there's your screen. Let's focus. Okay, there you go. Okay, so what you're looking at here, other than me throwing, so, okay, so this area right here, this is the small pad area right here, okay? And then next to it, this one is a large pad that we're soldering to, all right? So I'm gonna hopefully be able to do this while it stays under the microscope for you. So let's see, right, here we go. I'm gonna take the tweezers and we're gonna line this up. I, these are not my favorite tweezers by any means, but I don't know where I put them. Anyways, you wanna line it up, okay? and just get that part, just heat it up and get it to fit right, just like that. Okay, now that that's soldered in, all we wanna do now is take this and just have it over there, just like that, and we're done. The entire setup is done. That means it's wired properly now. You've got the small part, then you've got the silicone sheathing right here, that little part, whoops. So this area right here, okay, that had the exposed wire. Then there's this little silicone sheathing area that's protecting the ground area from this wire here. And then we've got this uh, uh, solder to the uh, ground uh, of the antenna. So everything here, I'm trying to move this and I don't know which direction to go. There, all right. So it's three parts, uh, small wire, then the silicone, then the larger wire, and it's all soldered and you're good to go. So at this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch back to our desktop view. There we go. Let's put our microscope away. And then all you're gonna do here is you're going to take the back plate, bring it back over, plug the two wires in, set this back, just like that. There we go. Screw the screws back down. Okay, once that's done, get your batteries, put them back in, close it up, make sure your switches are in the off position. I guess they must have broken that switch, okay. Uh, there we go, and power it on, and just make sure you don't get any antenna errors. So you may not wanna screw the whole thing back in if you hadn't done that yet, but you're gonna see here, switch warning, uh, which would be this warning here, so. I don't know if he wants that, so they didn't tell us they want us to replace it, but we'll check. We'll see. Anyways, when we exit through, we have no antenna warnings. Let me just get everything centered here. Okay, and that's it. Antenna's back on. Everything's good. We'll contact them and see if they want us to do that. That wasn't on our work order, but maybe they do. Anyways, that's it, guys. So it's very, it's very easy to do the. It's very easy to do the work. You just have to make sure that when you solder those, you do. Uh, take off the large solder first, then go to the small. When you put it back on, do it in reverse order, put small, and then go to the large. That's it. If you have any questions, guys, please, as always, uh, uh, hit us up on our website, cyclonefpv.com, and please subscribe to the uh, our channel below here, uh, our YouTube channel. I greatly appreciate it and greatly appreciate your support. Um, bless you. And uh, let's see what else. You can also follow us on Facebook. And there it goes. There's our facebook.com forward slash cyclonefpv. All right, enough of that. Other than that, guys, God bless. Be safe. And most of all, go spend time with your family. You never know how much time you'll bless, so go make the most of it. You can always fly later. And to my kids, I will see you guys. Ashton, Lanny, and Jaden tonight. Jaden had his, what was it called? House sorting. House sorting. Something to do with Harry Potter, or, and I don't know. They, Anyways, it was awesome. Uh, so, Jaden, congratulations to you. He, uh, he, he and his buddy made it into the same house, so that's really cool. Everybody else, I'm telling you guys, go have fun with your family. We'll talk to you soon, guys. God bless. Be safe. Peace.